One year ago, I ran my first 100 mile race. The first half of that race, I struggled with stomach issues, puking up water, and needing to use the restroom every few miles. By the time I was at mile 50, those problems vanished. With the help of some great people, I completed the 100 mile race after 23 hours. But after I finished, I realized one thing. I had more to give. y'all in 11 hours we will be in norfolk nebraska what do you think mom Woohoo! we're making good time i'm glad stay in the left lane all right y'all so we just got upstairs to our hotel and this hotel is looking awesome uh i just brought up all my stuff and got multiple duffel bags full of all race gear nutrition all that good stuff mom what do you think i love it i'm happy and it is cold outside Hi, um, is there a way you could ask maintenance to turn up the hot tub as hot as possible? What's up guys, it is 5 p.m. At 7 a.m. I will be at the start line taking off for the Cowboy 200. Um, so to get prepared for this, I got this ice bath as cold as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna get in here and then we're going to pack and pick up. Alright guys, about to grab our packet. Yeah, that ain't happy. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Hi. How are you? Checking in? Yep. All right here. What's your name? Right there to uh, start Seth. with. Seth? Yes, sir. Last name? Steve Yelly Wine. I got to be able to spell there. Seth Apple. 236. Seth, 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 Seth
couple minutes at the start line. Cowboy 200. Thank you everyone so much for being here on our inaugural year. We are pumped. We are pumped. slowly rising. Alright guys, I just took my first gel strawberry banana goo. My water pack is frozen, so I can't get any water right now. I'm on mile six, so about four miles. I'll stop, deal with it, continue forward. Sunrise is beautiful. Just took gel number three and I flushed it down with some water. We're on mile 13.7, moving nice and solid, holding that 10 minute, 10 minute, 30 second pace, heading towards Toten Aid Station. Woo, 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 one tenth over, baby. You came just before I peed my pants. Let's go, huh? <laughs> good job. How you feeling? Good. Good, good, good. You got the strong too? Yeah, I'll go get out of the car. All right. The aid station's inside. To the left. All right, I got three scoops of strong food in here, so I'm going to chug this. Put it back. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. You everything? Stacks are Yeah, I got everything else right here. Good, good. Thanks, Thank you so guys. much, guys. Yeah. You actually remind me of somebody, uh, her cousin Chris. Thank you. So that strong food down, that's 470 calories. I took four gels, so that's 400. You think it's all twisted, babe? So that's about 870 calories. All right, just standing here, I'm getting cold. All right, thanks. See you in a bit. All right. Got some locals cheering us on. Thanks, guys. You have a good one. How you doing? All right, the aid station's over there, but my car is right here. Okay. Right here, so. You got some avocados? Yep. Okay, I'll have avocados. All right, I'll cut it up right now. All right, thank you. Yep. And he's off. Mile 38, he looks, in good. he looks good, he feels good. Snarf down a quesadilla and some avocado. Stay home! steady still crossing this beautiful bridge sun's almost down i to take whichever number jealous is i don't remember bye come back again mile 55 just hit mile 60 and the headlight is on about four and a half to the next aid station Cross here. Cross right here. Yep, you cross right here. First, watch for cars. Good job, sweetie. Woo -woo! Thanks, Mom. All right, they got coffee going. All right, hot I just hamburger. Want to sit down. Yeah. Do you want to sit in the car? Or do you want to sit in the chair? All right. You rolling? All right, guys. We just got to mile 64. You know, I'm gonna be real, my legs feel tight. But 
you know, I'm just taking my time now. My predicted pace is kind of out the window. Um, but I have a lot of time. Uh, so, this is my second cup of coffee while I'm sitting here. Um, my mom is force feeding me avocados. I already ate one, about to eat the second one. And I switched to these Hoka Bondi 8s right here. Thanks to Fleet Feet Round Rock. Um, I just feel like those other shoes, while I was out there, I just felt like there's a little too much squish. I was feeling too much of the ground, if that makes any sense. And I just feel like I need to switch it up. So I got my caffeinated gels, and I also switched to this Carhu Buff. Shout out to my boy Lee. Um, I'm sipping this coffee, gonna eat the other avocado, and then we'll head out. Do you know which way you're headed out of here? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Have fun. You know where you're supposed to go? I don't even know where you're supposed to go. You do. Well, ask. She told me where to go. Oh. <laughs> she already explained it all to me. So I love you, Mom. All right. Love you, sweetie. You're doing great. Thank you for all your help. Do what you got to do. See you, O'Neal. Seventy eight miles to the next aid station. Still on mile seventy. It's getting pretty chilly out here, so pulled over to the side of the trail. Just put on my hoodie and take a little break. Um, I'm gonna take this chocolate outrage goo. It has twenty milligrams of caffeine. Here we go. pretty good it's pretty good she give me that next aid station i don't know how cold it is out here but it's cold i'll tune back in mile 80 five miles to the next aid station my headlights dead but uh yeah just five five. How you doing? Yep, that's the station. Here. Yep, they've got coffee, they've got hot taco meat, and he's uh, heating up some water in case you want something like that. Uh, How are you I feeling? I'm chilling the car. Okay, I'm gonna go turn it on. I'm just gonna check it real quick. Okay. <laughs> 236. 236, yes ma'am. He's checking out. Checking out. Checking out. Checking out. Um, What's up, dude? How are you? Good, man. Paul? Oh. No, I'm Troy. Paul is the good looking guy who's 66. <laughs> no wonder y'all look so alike. <laughs> He's wearing blue lemon. Uh, Did you need something, ma'am? Oh, fancy. Very fancy. All right, man. Um, See y'all down the line. Where does he head out? This on that sidewalk. He was just on. It's the sidewalk, and it just keeps going. All righty.
How are you feeling now? So cold and tired. Yep. It's a long ass night. I'm sure. So I'm ready to take a nap. It's good. You need eat. It's good. What do you want to do first? Uh, can I can I eat on the cot or is it not allowed? Uh, I don't know. Seth was gonna sleep first, but he decided to get some hot potato soup and coffee first. It's cold and tired. Thank, Thank you. you. Alright guys, we're at Atkinson Aid Station, about 104 miles. Um, I switched from the Speed Goats to the A6 Nova Blast 3. Shout out to Chris. But yeah, also shout out to Chris Adams and Race First Light. You know I'm rocking that bib. Yep, and you also rock the Brave Light Gabe bib. And now I'm going to use the restroom <laughs> and take a fat dookie. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to cut that out. Great job, great job, honey. Proud of you, proud of you. I'm quesadillas, I'll make him one. I'm like, oh. Seth got his wish, he got a special order. You know what, I don't know her name. I better hey, go ask. Whoever made this quesadilla for me, thank you so much. What's, what? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Which place are we at? Newport. Newport. The volunteers at Newport were the bomb. I'm on mile 123. And it's getting cold. It's like, it's below freezing, 29 degrees. I'm frozen. So I'm glad I got here at a decent time. And honestly, when I was taking that trail nap, I kept looking up the trail because the sun's slowly going down. And I could feel it getting cold. And I was like, oh my God, not again. Anything no, no. you'd like to say before you head out in this frozen tundra? Stay hard. All right, guys, it is now 8 a.m. Um, and I believe the town I'm coming into for this aid station is called Long Pine. Really rough night. I didn't wear enough clothes. Uh, it was just, it sucked because I felt like I was freezing, like almost freezing to death. <laughs> I tried to use a space blanket again. It didn't really help. I did fall asleep though, but I woke up freezing. Um, eventually I, I got into a groove though, and uh, now we're here at Long Pine. Okay, Seth came in, I missed him, I was getting his room ready, he looks good. It's a long night, again. Any pain, any cramps? No cramps. Anything you want out of the car? Mm -mm. Okay, let me know. Say hi to your people. Hello.
a pair of tie-dye sweatpants. You did? Tie-dye, yeah. Talia told me to get them. That's hilarious. She said he'll love them. I wonder. <laughs> like, uh... Be colorful. It's not my style, but, you know... Oh, well. But I'm definitely going to need them tonight. And by the time I get to the, to the next full man aid station, it's going to be like 8 p.m. And by the time it's 6.30, it's going to be getting cold. How are you, I don't want to freeze. How are you feeling? I feel good right now. After leaving that last aid station, I felt really good. So I definitely got some faster miles in. But, you know, my legs are quickly, you know... <laughs> that little run I did at the... Feeling is. All right, guys, so we're at mile 150. We got about 50 miles till the end of this race. The last aid station, I was able to get some rest. I didn't sleep at all, but, you know, I laid there. And um, they had uh, showers right in the room, which is super convenient. And I've heard a lot of people talk about how it makes them feel better, so I did decide to go ahead and shower while I have the opportunity and changed and it felt great honestly um the mileage is still on my legs though you know it didn't give me brand new legs but it did give me a a boost got some g1m right here let me go ahead and put that in here try not to make a mess well done carbs and electrolytes go one more and also, I got avocado right here, and I just ate some potatoes. This next section is about 22 and a half miles, so it's going to be tough. And, you know, by the time I get there, it's going to be towards the end of the day, which it's going to be cold. So, thank God my mom went and got me these sweatpants, which I have attached to my camelback. It's going to be extra weight, but I do not want to be cold again. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna sip this, eat these avocados, and then we're gonna head out. <clears throat> we're somewhere around mile 160. Um, my knees hurt. This part of the trail is more unstable. It's like a bunch of horses ran through here but uh just about 2.3 miles to the next aid station it's unmanned and after that it'll be the final man aid station so we're inching our way up to this one we'll refill our water um take a caffeine gel take a little break and then get back at it Let's go. Taking a trail nap. Got about 6.7 miles to the next aid station. Whew. All right, everybody. I just got to about mile 175. And that stretch was tough. I took a lot of trail naps. And I just pushed when I could. Um, but it's good to be here. Let me get some sleep, eat as much as I can. I got some hot ramen right here. And, uh, go from there. All right, guys. Um, I just woke up. It's about 7.30 a.m. And I have 25 miles until the 200-mile mark. In 10 hours until the disqualification time. I'm wrapping up my legs. Because last night, they hurt. 
and they still hurt. So I'm hoping that this is going to help a bit. Keep y'all updated. Getting that coffee in, brought, he's packed his gels, his hat, headlight, emergency blankets, which have turned out to be completely useless. They suck. I was freezing to death and I was like, oh yeah, I have my emergency blanket. I would freeze to death. And I'd be pissed. <laughs> not as not as pissed as we would be. Alright. It's about that time. Tell her I'm leaving. I'm gonna okay. go take a dump. And then you're gonna go? As I'm leaving, I'm gonna poop. And it's time to time to get out of here. Okay, honey. Love you. Love you too. Have a great day. He looks good. Here we go. There he goes. I will not see him until the finish. And he will finish. Let's go, Seth! You don't know me, son. You don't know me. About two and a half miles away. Coming into Valentine. That was tough. People are like, you shouldn't do that in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs>